Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are in a short letter, a short, short letter that John wrote, the Apostle John wrote. Great letter, great letter. And this letter is the opposite of the second one. The second one, John said, close the doors for, for, for the false teachers, and masters and apostles, false apostles and prophets that are going around. In the third letter, he said, hey, open the door for those that are, I'm sending to you. They're good people going around, traveling, sacrificing their lives to preach the gospel, the real gospel, and I want you to open the door for them. I, I, I want you to help them. And that is the, and some people there are not helping, so he's, uh, he's, he's dealing with uh, some opposition there. It's very interesting. And before I share the, the, the text with you that, that we med we're going to meditate, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people. So let's see the, 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 the verse for today. Verse 4. We're going to go with verse 4 today. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. I think we, we don't have, sorry, Portuguese just jump in. <laughs> uh, we don't have, uh, we don't know that John was married, had children. He's not talking about this kind of children, the natural children. He's talking about their, his children in the faith, people that he generate in the faith. And, and the best thing that a pastor, a leader can hear is that uh, people that he brought to the Lord, the people that accept Christ through him, people that he discipled, people that he taught, they are firm in the Lord. They are walking in the truth. They are good, solid Christians. It's, it's the best news that any pastor can hear. That once in a while, I receive a, a, someone uh, uh, contact me through YouTube and, or, 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 or even uh, Facebook and Instagram and other, other places there. And, and they tell, look, I remember I, I became a Christian because you preached it. I was a, I, I was member of one of your church and I'm, I'm now I'm doing this. I'm an elder, a deacon. I'm, I continue my journey with Christ faithfully. It's, it's great news. It's great news. It makes any, every pastor, leader, preacher smile. See? Oh, gee, that's, that's great. It's great to hear that. Uh, I was there a long time ago, and, and they still firm. they still following the Lord. they still faithful. they still walk in the truth. It's, it's great news. And I'd like to encourage you to do that, to, to say that to those people that were an, an instrument in your life, to to bring you to Christ, to help you to grow in your Christian faith. Tell them, tell them that uh, you are still walking the truth. Make them happy. Make them happy. Say, hey, I'm still here. I'm still working. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you did. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's it's great. It's great for pastors and leaders to hear that kind of stuff, to know that their work, their work was not in vain. It's still producing fruit. It's it's great. Be grateful. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.